Hey everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com. Thanks for joining me for today's Tuesday tutorial. Sorry I missed last week. Britton filled in and did a great job for me, but today I'm going to be showing you what I had planned to show you last week, and I'll try to fill in the other video in a little bit. But for right now, I wanted to show you a scrapbook layout, a one-photo scrapbook layout, all black and white, using the black and white Megan Elizabeth kit that we just released. There are several classes and workshops that go along with this kit, including making wedding and anniversary cards, making an autograph frame, making, I think it's a faux shadow box, there's a stationary kit, there's all kinds of things that you can create specifically using this kit. And it has a very elegant feel to it being all black and white. So you can add your favorite colors in if you want, or just leave it truly black and white. And that's what I'm doing with this particular layout today. So I'm grabbing this uh, particular sheet that's in the kit. I love it. It fits very much along with many of the um, layouts that you see in scrapbook magazines and inspirational magazines where, you know, there's really not a lot going on. It's a very white background. You see one photo and a couple embellishments. And that's what I'm going to show you kind of how to create today. Just how simple some of those layouts can be and how you can make them, but that it can be anything you want it to be. So that's what I want to show you right now. I'm starting with this photo and it's going to kind of go here on the side and I'm going to build out from my photo just to kind of anchor it down and do just a little bit of handwritten journaling. Um, I think that I'm going to do that when I'm finished. But really what I wanted to use is this stamp. It says simple joys or some simple things, small joys. And I just think this is a beautiful picture of my daughter at the beach. She was loving just kind of touching and feeling the sand. I'm going to quit rambling and let's get to it. I will be using a corner chomper for chomping the uh, corners of this photo. I think it gives it softer edges and that's what I really want to see for this particular layout. I'm going to do the half inch round. So there's the half inch and just so that you could see what the quarter inch looks like, I can go back over and do the half inch. I'm going to flip it over and do the quarter inch. So now you can really see the difference of the rounds from end to end. So either works fine, but I like the big, huge half inch round chomp. Um, I just think it works really well. So that's gonna go here. I have a couple scraps left over from different pieces that I used from the class that I taught already, and it is available right now. And I want to use this kind of medallion. It's very glittery. It's really in there. The glitter is not coming off. It's kind of like uh, almost like an embossed glitter. And I want to tear this out. I already tore the page to begin with. So I just want to rip this out the rest of the way. And I'm not being too careful. I'm just ripping it. Okay. Just sort of see where you want it to go. All right, that should be pretty good. Now I'm gonna ink the edges. I'm gonna use the Megan Elizabeth. This is called 1AM, it's dark black. Um, only because, I called it 1AM because I feel like everybody calls really dark black midnight and I want it to be different. So 1AM it is. 1AM is just as dark as midnight. <clears throat> so you can see it's a really, really wet, juicy ink. Will be available hopefully later this week. If not, by Tuesday next week. Um, it did just come in, but we're getting everything organized. We can't just kind of throw it up in the shop. We have to make sure the inventory count is correct and everything is right for you guys to be able to get it. So that's going to go in the corner. I'm going to just adhere that down using my Glue Glider Pro. Place this right here. And I'm probably going to pop dot up the photo once it's all said and done, but I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to build out the sides and I'm just going to do some strips of um, paper and I'm ripping. I'm doing ripping for all of this. Now, when you can see here, there's the white core or just the paper that you don't see the core, you just see the ripped edge. So in order to achieve which way that goes, you basically pull the direction that you want. So okay, let me try to explain that a little better. So I pulled this up with my right hand and that leaves the white core on this side. If I wanted it to be white core on this side too, I would just pull it the other way. So pull it away, pull it back, and now it's white core on this side. So I have white core going both ways, which I'll probably use this side for this particular thing. I want that ripped, ripped edge pretty much going all the way across. I am going to leave one straight edge for the very bottom, and this will work perfectly. We'll do that right here. And we'll do a strip of this. 
And I wanted to say simple joys in here. So I'm gonna stamp down, let's see kind of where we want it to fall. I'll leave that there, have this meet at the bottom. All right, Simple Joyce is gonna go right in here and it's a bigger stamp. We should probably put down our photo first. Since I'm gonna pop dot it up, I'm gonna use the Megan Elizabeth adhesive squares. That is one huge sheet that you can cut to any size or shape that you want. If you have not seen them yet, they are available right now in my combo pack that is in the store now. I know you guys are still waiting on, let's see. We have the chipboard stickers coming in the store and we have the ink pads coming in the store and they all coordinate with paper layers. I know they're gonna fly out of there. I probably should have ordered more to start, but I just got what we got. So we'll see how it goes. We did already sell out of one of the colors of sparkle lights. There is no word as to when they'll be back in. Um, we sort of have to take our time with how we order. So, I don't have word on that, but that's gonna go there. We're gonna put this one down here along the bottom. This one here, we'll kind of play with it a little bit. And then we're gonna stamp right here. So it says, again, this is from Paper Tray Ink, the stamp, and I'm gonna use the ink, Megan Elizabeth ink. It's very juicy, so be careful stamping with it. You wanna just lightly tap and dab it. It's not meant for an inking, a stamping ink pad as much as it's meant for edging. It's a very soft ink pad and it's very different from many things that are out there. It's designed differently to uh, give you a different feel. So it's a simple thing, sim uh, small joys. And we're going to use the glue glider right on down the side. And the really cool thing about double sided paper is if you rip it one way, you know, from the same sheet. Let's see, how did we rip this? I think we ripped it from here. You're gonna be able to, you could almost line it back up on the reverse with the double-sided paper, which is kind of cool. Um, I think this is a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna thin this out a little bit. Let's see. Just a little. You can ink your edge a little bit more if you don't want so much white. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right, now I don't want, okay, so we're gonna kind of line that back up on the reverse. I don't want it to go all the way to the end. I want to kind of build it up. So I'm going to do another strip there because I tore this. I really love this pattern and it gets softer white. So I'm going to kind of alternate. There's the lighter with the black and then the more black with the white. So you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing there. I have to rip this side, so I'm gonna have to rip it. I'm gonna wrap it with the white core coming out, ripping it towards me. If I would have ripped it away, the white core would have been hidden onto this side, so you wouldn't have seen so much core. I'm gonna rip that away. It's too thick, much too thick. Let's rip the white core away on this side. So pulling it backwards. still be a little too thick. Could layer it. You can just see how juicy and how much that slides on there. It's awesome. All right, a little glue glider pro. Slide this into place. There is that part. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do a couple buttons on here. I'm going to grab the adhesive squares that are included. You just press it down on the sheet and you peel it up. And these are super, super strong and tacky. I'm gonna just bring things together for me. I feel like the buttons, just because it's um, my daughter, I feel like it gives it a little bit more of that childish feel without taking away from the elegance for this particular layout. That's why um, you're not going to use the buttons with any, just anything that you would put together. But I feel like they work for this. And the white buttons are all included in the kit. So I'm going to do them right around the side there. Very simple. Now I also have 
the black ribbon and I also have some adhesive felt that I was kind of thinking I could bunch up and put up here in this corner but I think I might use the black ribbon and I'm just going to loop it a couple times. Let's see. Let's put a little adhesive down right on the ribbon. Loop it around. Loop it back around. I'm just kind of making a little weird kind of flower, ribbon flower, I guess you could say. It's not even a flower. It's just more of a twisted embellishment more than anything because we're not really making any particular shape. All right, so this is going to be my final little twist. I'm going to make sure there's enough adhesive down. The glue glider works great for ribbon. And there actually are ribbon adhesive cartridges, which are really cool. So if you're just working with ribbon, you can switch out your cartridge just by pulling it out, put in the ribbon adhesive, and then pop it back in. All right, so let's cut this excess tail off. Because I used some pop dots, it should fit under there perfectly, and it does. Just sort of flatten it out. Just a little bit of adhesive down. Place this on there, and it curls right around that photo, which is great. Let's put a little on the top so that the photo actually whoops, sticks down. Now, if you get too much on there and it goes crazy on you, like I just did, just roll it back, peel it back, and you should be a-okay fine. And if not, cover it with <laughs> cover it with a sparkle light, which is what I'm going to do because I can't get that off there. So I don't want to ruin my photo. I'm going to just stick a sparkle light where that extra adhesive is. So it's not a mistake, it's an opportunity to embellish. Remember that. <laughs> just stick a sparkle light down. There we go. That looks great. Just for that little bit of extra adhesive. I don't want that adhesive to be what's sticking out there. So now it's fixed up. Fixed up just fine. And the sparkle lights are included with this kit, so no worries. You can add them anywhere you want. Now to finish this off, I'm going to use a little bit of the Viva Decor Pearl Pen in the ice white color. Now the Pearl Pen is not included in this particular kit. But you could use any kind of glitter adhesive, glitter glue. You can pick up some extra Viva Decor Pearl pens. Definitely recommend getting Ice White as your first color option. Um, you can just do so much with the Pearl pens it, as far as embellishments go. And I'm making my own little flourishes coming out from my photo. I just love the effects that it gives and it looks like you spent a lot of money and a lot of time on placing down each little individual pearl or rhinestone, but you didn't. You just dotted on these beautiful little pearlescent pearls and Viva dries so fast and so perfectly. There's no little peaks. Or Hershey Kisses rather, they really level out by themselves and you just have so much control with getting really tiny to really big pearls. So this is what I like doing with it. You can do many other things. You can stencil with it. You can write with it. I got a little blobby. Let's add a little more there. Okay, perfect. So that is how I am finishing out this particular layout. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful Tuesday. Enjoy the moments and I'll see you tomorrow for a check this out video. Bye.